Hi. So we've been in this uh, COVID-19 lockdown for what, now about three months. This one is nothing like any of those before. Not only is life not going to return back to the way it was, uh, the new normal is going to be quite a bit different from how things were prior to the time that we went into lockdown. And one of the areas where I feel there is going to be a, a significant difference, and especially from a marketing and sales perspective, is in the area of uh, consumption. So travel, uh, hospitality, all of these are related and all the the entire ecosystem of travel, whether it's uh, you know the, the cab that you take to the airport and the monies that you spend at, at the airport and in duty free and you know the gifts that you bring back after a travel trip. And I'm saying travel for work as much as for pleasure. These three months have taught us that a whole lot of work which uh, earlier used to require travel can be managed without traveling. Uh, likewise, events and large gatherings are going to be lesser. So, so if you would travel to attend a big show in the in the West, in the, in the, in Europe or in the US, maybe the shows are not going to happen. Many of them are going to go virtual, so you don't need to travel for that. Uh, vacations. I mean, you know, do you really want to take your family? Uh, with a huge amount of risk on a travel trip. Uh, so some people will still do, but I believe that uh, the volumes will substantially be less. There's not going to be too many big fat Indian weddings. Uh, there are not going to be very large parties or there's not going to be big sports events. So again, uh, direct expenditure around those as well as the indirect expenditures. If you are going to attend somebody else's wedding also, Maybe you want to wear your flashiest you know, jewelry or clothes, but if there are no weddings to attend, do you want to just keep adding new clothes which you may never need to wear on any occasion of that kind? So again, all that spend goes down. Um, then there is a factor of having lived three or more months in this lockdown situation and managed perhaps with you know few changes of clothes, uh, less uh, makeup and cos cosmetics, um, all of those uh, elements make you believe that, hey, you know, you were just fine doing all that. Do you need to really go back to those old consumption levels? Yeah, there will be a certain spring back demand for a short time because you've been away from it all. But at the end of the day, you know, you, you realize that life can be managed just fine. Uh, with a lot less. Eating out in restaurants is going to be a lot less. So a whole bunch of direct consumption categories are going to go down. Uh, think about real estate. I mean, you know, with all the kind of uh, business losses and, you know, reduction of incomes that have happened and the market being where it is, not too many people are thinking right now to block a large sum of money into a dead investment like real estate. So again, the demand for that is going to be really low. Luxury purchases are definitely going to be less um, simply because there are fewer occasions for you to flaunt your luxury. I mean, whether it's clothes or jewelry or you know those new watches. And the fact that you might still end up working substantially from home, you'll have a lot less commute to do uh, which may also mean that do you really need two and three and four cars? Maybe one car for the family might just be good enough. So you might not buy your second and third and fourth uh, vehicle for yourself. So in, in many ways, across many categories, uh, there is going to be a reduction of spends. And then, of course, there is this factor of the economic impact that this uh, e event has uh, had in terms of reduction of uh, so, so sort of salary reductions or cuts which are going to come, job losses, a lot of businesses are going to suffer, many might close down, consequential effects to not only the business owner, but the families and all the people who used to work for them. Uh, all of those guys are going to be under a fair bit of hardship. Uh, a whole bunch of gig workers might not have continuous flow of income 
obviously the various daily wage earners that we have been talking about at a different strata of society have been heard and will continue to remain heard for a while so when you have lesser money to spend also you know you're going to be conscious of what you spend it spend it on so all these factors and uh, at the end of it the big factor that you, an understanding that you can do you can live a, a reasonable life maybe at 70 80% of what you used to spend earlier but that realization um combined uh, with the other factors that i talked about are what lead me to believe that overall consumption levels across society across different strata of society across different categories will stay a notch below what they they were uh, and uh, with that a lot of uh, re-rating might happen to fmcg numbers and and many other categories uh, from from a valuation perspective from a stock market perspective as well so that's that's a particular viewpoint i have in terms of large uh, uh, overall consumption levels based on my observations and understanding of what I was going on in these covid times and uh, i'd love to have your opinion so uh, do share your feedback uh, maybe and you know it'll be nice to have a perspective from you as well thank you